This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we round up all the rumors from the week and condense them like a tech trash compactor into one tiny little morsel of tech awesomeness. Up this week, it is all Apple. We're going to be talking about iOS 7, next update to Max OS 10, all kinds of new iPhones, iPads, and even the Apple TVs making a comeback. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start early 2013. According to Mac rumors, the iPad mini with retina display is coming in March. An update to the little tiny Apple TV box and some sort of iTunes radio product will also be coming. So it looks like the iPad mini is not gonna have a very long shelf life at all from November to March. Six-ish months, which is kind of disappointing. Certainly would like to see a longer life cycle of Apple's products, but if it puts a retina display in an iPad, I will be quite happy and I'm sure some of you will be happy and super pissed off. You just battle each other. So let's go from March to June to Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, usually where we see updates to OS's, which we are going to see. WWDC is going to bring us previews of iOS 7 and OS 10, as well as MacBook Airs with retina displays. You finally start to see Johnny I's influence over iOS start to show up. iOS 7, who knows what that's going to be, but certainly it's going to look different. Gone is Scott Forstall, and now we've got Johnny Ive, the brilliant mind who brought us the industrial design of pretty much all of Apple's products. I'm inclined to believe it's going to be the first real big update we've had to iOS, not just adding new features, but really a whole new uh, refresh to the operating system. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Retina displays and MacBook Airs, which really is going to blur the lines between MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. All right, so let's jump forward from June to September. You know the brand new iPhone 5 that you're rocking and showing off to all your friends? It's outdated. Yesterday's news, iPhone 5S is coming. It's going to be a modest upgrade from the iPhone 5. The iPad mini might also get another spec bump and a totally redesigned iPad to look more like the iPhone 5 and the iPad mini. iPhone 5S makes sense to come in September. It'll probably look exactly the same, have a faster processor and maybe bring some new Siri features, but nothing else really that exciting. Another spec update to the <laughs> iPad mini uh, from March to June. That is a crazy update every six months. Looks like something new is coming out from the folks at Apple, or even a little bit sooner if we're looking at June. And a totally redesigned iPad. We just had the iPad fourth generation. Looks like the fifth generation is going to be here to looking totally different. Uh, think of it as like a larger iPad mini, which I guess makes sense. So before we get to what's coming in November, let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite. Want to make sure all your information is backed up, but you don't want to lose it, Carbonite's got you covered. Carbonite Online Backup is automatic cloud backup for the computer to back up your files at your home, office, or small business. You set it up once and Carbonite will protect your computer files so you can stay focused on running your business. No extra hardware is required. With Carbonite, getting lost files back is easy. Your employees can even access their backed up files on their smartphone or iPad with a free Carbonite app. Carbonite is a better backup plan for your home office or small business. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com and enter offer code TECHNO to get two free months if you decide to buy. That's Carbonite.com, enter offer code TECHNO if you decide to buy, get two free months. Let's hop forward to November, where we are finally going to see the much rumored Apple television. Not sure if it's going to be called Apple TV, Apple Television, Apple giant thing that goes on your wall, but it looks like we are finally going to see it at the end of 2013. It should cost between $1,500 and $2,000 and range anywhere from 42 to 55 inches, but there isn't that much of a price difference. I'd expect the 55 inch versus 42 to be more expensive, so we'll see what that price ends up being. New way to control a television, perhaps via Siri and talking to your television set integration with the remote on your iPhone, iPad, iPad mini, or some other crazy thing we might say in Apple television. There have been rumors that the TV has been done and designed for a while. Apple's just trying to get content providers on board. For those of you folks outside of the US though, I would expect this is only gonna be the US launch at first because Apple's gotta negotiate with content providers from all the different countries in the world. So I expect the US first, then come to other countries gradually later on. So that's a ton of Apple rumors and news condensed into one video. New iPhones, new iPads, new laptops, everything is coming and new. Are you excited about it? Are you mad? Are you pissed? You want to jump for joy? I want to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. Check us out every week uh, and check out technobuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. But for now, John Rettinger, See you next video.